let's just give him our best praise, our best thanks we can give him right now. Father, Lord, we lift up your name. We praise you. We glorify you, God. Lord, you've been with us, God, this past week, Father God. Lord, you've kept us safe, Father God. You've had your hand upon us, God. Lord, in our times of sickness, Father God, you've been there to make us whole, Father God. Lord, in the time of tragedy, God, you have been our comfort, God. Lord, in the times that we have needed direction, God, you have been our guide. And Father God, when the storms of life have come, Father, you have been our anchor, and that anchor holds today. And God, we've got a lot to thank you for. We've got a lot to praise you for today, God. And Lord God, we just want to lift up your name, Father God. We want to exalt you in this house today. And Father God, we want the name of Jesus to be glorified above every name today, God. For at that name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow, every tongue is going to confess that thou art Lord. And Father God, to you be all glory, all honor, and all praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Can you give him a hand clap of praise this morning?
thankfulness we need unto Him. I'm sorry, but every service is that way. I thought to myself, Lord, this ain't a Thanksgiving message you're giving me this morning. I've been preaching on prayer the last couple of weeks. This ain't necessarily a message on prayer, but it was in prayer that God gave me this word. I want me to share with you here this morning. Revelation chapter number 6. I'll just begin reading at, uh, at verse number 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. And lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their place. Heavenly Father, I love you, Father God, here tonight. And God, I just pray now, Father God, that you would bless each and every one under the sound of my voice. I ask, Father God, that you would anoint the Word of God as I preach it here this morning. And Father Lord, that you would touch each and every one. Father, give them an ear to hear the Word of God. Give them a heart, Father God, to receive the Word, Father God. And Lord, let them act upon their faith, Father God, here today. And God will give you all glory, all honor, and all praise for all that's done. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen and amen. You can be seated here this morning. As we look into Revelation chapter number 12, he said, And I beheld when he opened the sixth seal. And lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. As I read that scripture right there, I can think of a whole lot of things that have happened here recently, a whole lot of things going through my mind of recent events in this world. Number one, the Word of God said, Jesus said that in the last days there would be earthquakes earthquakes in diverse places. There's earthquakes happening all over. We're seeing here lately Thailand and China and those around Indonesia being shaken again with earthquakes. I believe there might have been another one in Haiti here just very recently. And even right here around western North Carolina and eastern Tennessee, the ground is beginning to shake. I remember very well the only time that I could say I ever felt an earthquake was over there at Whittier at camp meeting. Uh, we were having a service there on that night and the ground began to shake. The concrete floor underneath us began to bounce and Stephen Hummel was sitting beside me and he looked at me. He said, what in the world is going on? I said, I don't know, but it's got to be an earthquake. I was ready to shout. I was ready to get the victory. The old preacher kept on preaching and I thought, brother, how you can preach through an earthquake? It blows my mind, but he never missed a beat. He just kept on preaching. But it was an eerie feeling, feeling the ground literally moving up under you and sounding like a freight train was coming through the building for the rumbling. But listen, the ground is shaking. Hell is enlarging herself. I believe a lot of times the reason we're having earthquakes is just because of the sin in the world and hell enlarging herself. Every day his souls are dying going to hell. And saints of God, we better be about the master's business because hell is gaining and I want heaven to gain. Can you say amen here? But I look at that scripture brother said and I think back of that time I had that vision going down 28 out of Macon County going toward Bryson City and passing that sign that said Beulah Land and there I had my little sweetie pie with me sitting right by my side over close to me in the old pickup truck and as we was going I looked up and the moon began to drip blood. The stars began to fall out of the sky and I said Crystal the rapture is about to take place and immediately we were taken out of the truck but as I've shared it before we were standing before the pearly gates and I looked around and only 200 people I could count and I said surely surely more than 200 people made it to heaven and Peter come forth from the gate in that vision and he said listen I'm not Jesus this is not the rapture but you've been called here to be about the father's business because time is short and immediately I was back in the pickup truck in that vision and I was passing the McCoy Bridge. I had a friend that lives in Cleveland, Tennessee. 
He come over to see me this week. And guess what? He lives in Cleveland, Tennessee, and he's not a preacher. He's actually a bridge builder. He works for Simpson Construction right as you go into Cleveland. But he come over and met with me, and he said, I went down 28 on my way over here. And he said, I seen there where he's done that job where that McCoy Bridge was. And it brought to my remembrance. It was just last year that McCoy Bridge was finished. That old trestle that I saw in that vision was made inactive. Just over the past year, the moon has turned to blood. Just over the past year, we've seen a total eclipse right through this area. The sun was turned black. Saints of God, I'm telling you, Jesus is coming. And He's coming soon. We better be looking up for He's coming back for a people that's looking for Him. I said in prayer this week, God, will you send us shaking it under the church? And He got to deal with my heart to look at the times in the Word of God when the place shook. I'm telling you, I can find five times in the book of Revelation where we can read the word earthquake in the Word of God. But may I tell you, in the book of Revelation, everything comes in the order of seven. My God, there's seven earthquakes in the book of Revelation and we're about to behold them. They're just on the brink. When He revealed that sixth seal, the ground began to shake. There is a great earthquake. May I tell you, Brother Bill, when that sixth seal's revealed, I want to be sitting down at the Thanksgiving Supper of Heaven, but it ain't a Thanksgiving Supper. It's called the Marriage Supper of the Lamb, and I want to be there at the Master's table while this earth is a shaking, while this earth is a quaking. But we can go on down through the Word of God. I'm telling you, you get into the trumpets, you'll find another time where the ground is going to shake. You can get into Revelation chapter number 11. You remember them two prophets that are going to be preaching in the power of Moses and Elijah. They'll have power to shut up the heavens and they'll have power that the fire will come out of their mouth and destroy people. But the Antichrist will kill them. Their dead bodies will lay in the streets of Jerusalem for three and a half days. But then God's going to revive them. He's going to rapture their bodies. They're going to come up unto heaven. And when that happens, Brother Luke, the crown's going to begin to shake. Why? To get their attention. At the resurrection. Oh yeah. At the resurrection. Listen. When Jesus Christ hung on the cross of Calvary. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Great God, the Father turned his back on the Son. Because he's carrying the sins of the world. Darkness. Upon the face of the earth. And he cried, It is finished. The ground began to shake. And the saints of God of the Old Testament that had been dead, many were seen walking in the streets of Jerusalem. That centurion that was beholding said, Truly, this was the Son of God. ground shook. There's an aftershock coming. Praise God, that aftershock waited three days. <laughs> but about at the cracking of the sun, as those women were going to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus. Whew, such a care I can just say Great God, I walked them in Wednesday night. I ought to give me some women and walk with me tonight, but I won't for this morning. Them sisters was talking among herself. They might have said, Jerry, we should have brought a few men to roll the stone out of our way. Who is going to roll away the stone? I can just hear them. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going. I don't know how we're going to get in, but we're going to get in. Who's going to roll the stone away? And the ground began to shake. The Lord heard their prayer. He was moved on by their infirmity. They had an infirmity, Sister Olivia. Who's going to move the stone? <laughs> stone rolled away. Jesus was alive. Amen. Jesus was alive. The ground shook. Listen, when that ground shook, when he cried, he was finished, the veil ran from top to bottom. It destroyed that law. 
and give us access. My God, give us access into the presence of God that we come into the glory of the Lord. The ground shakes when great things are happening. Listen, we can read when the seventh bowl judgment is poured out on the earth. There's going to be a great earthquake. The stars are going to fall from the heaven. Sister Gracie, I just have to believe Hollywood will be no more. She will be under the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Great God, if we just knew what was coming to them out there. The islands will be gone. The mountains will be made flat. Hailstones that are the size of a talent, which is 75 pounds, are going to fall from the sky. An earthquake like this world has never seen. But can I tell you, sister, there's one mountain that'll still be, still be standing. Oh, pastor, you said the mountains will be made flat. I can prove there's one that'll still be standing. See, I said you find earthquake in five verses. I've just touched on all five of them. But I said there's seven. See, Revelation chapter number four, verse number one, starts with these words, after this. <laughs> after this, John was caught up into the heavens. He got to go into the throne room of God. What did he see in the throne room? Not only did he see the Son of God sitting on the throne and the bow all the way around the throne, but later on he saw you and I worshiping him, crowning him, King of kings and Lord of lords. He saw him, the Lamb, that was led into the slaughter. He saw him come and take the scroll, take out the book out of his hand to loose the seals thereof. I'm telling you, after this, the trumpet of God is going to sound and the ground is going to shake. The earth is going to move and every saint of God is going to break forth from the grave. There's going to be a reuniting of body and soul and they're going to be called up to meet the Lord, but they're not going to beat us that are alive and remain because the Word of God said we're going to be caught up together to meet them in the air. I tell you, there gives you six earthquakes in the book of Revelation, but there's one more that we find in Revelation chapter number 19 and verse number 11. I told you there's one mountain that will not be made flat. It's called the Mount of Olives. For the angels of the Lord said, He shall so come in like manner. I'm telling you, the very footprints Jesus was standing in when He stepped on the cloud to be ascended under the Father. He's going to come back. His left foot's going to hit where his left foot was. His right foot's going to touch where his right foot was. When he gets off of that horse and the ground is going to shake, the Mount of Olives Park's going to go to the north. Park's going to go to the south. And he's going to walk into the city of Jerusalem. And he's going to rule and reign for a thousand years. My God works in the Roman numerals of seven in the book of Revelation. And there's going to be a shake in one day. I pray that God
that he's called us to do. Shake us. Brother Mark, I'm looking for a shaking. So I was praying for that shaking and I thought about you. And I thought about me getting over here. Because that mountain above your house, it's a moving. One of these days, I'm going to come down 64 and there's going to be a mountain blocking me. And I'm going to have to go around through Hiawassee or some other way to get to Murphy. But that'll be alright. What's going to happen is going to happen. But spiritually, we've got to have a shaking. We've got to have an earthquake. Thanks to God, if we don't get a shaking in right now in our soul, when that trumpet God sounds a lot of people's not going to be ready. But we can shake right now. God can stir us. God can move in us. Get us to that place that we're ready when the trumpet of God sounds. And when we're ready when the trumpet of God sounds, i got good news. We're going to be with Him when we behold that seventh earthquake that's going to happen in Revelation. We're going to be right behind Him walking into the city of God glorifying Him. Father, what do I need to do to have a shaking in my life? You ask Him, He'll show you. Ask Him. He'll show you. What are you talking about, Pastor? If you need something different in your life, if you will go to God, just ask Him. He'll show you. When I was seeing the baptism of the Holy Ghost, 1997, Brother Mark, it didn't matter who was preaching. It didn't matter what the invitation was for. I found myself in the altar. Asking God, fill me with all the ghosts. But it wasn't the six months later when I got down on the bedroom floor. I said, God, what doth hinder me? God showed me who I really am before you. And God started revealing things to me. Brother Bill, he didn't wait a week. He didn't wait a month. He showed me right then what I needed to do. And when I done those things, Brother Luke, there ain't God is a shaking it in my soul. God stirred me. God filled me with the Holy Ghost, Brother Mark. I want a shaking it in Murphy, North Carolina. Like happened at Shearer's schoolhouse. Where the Holy Ghost fell on all of them that were assembled just about. It should have been where the women washing their dishes over the sink praying. Getting filled with the Holy Ghost. When the men on the backs of their mules riding down the road. Getting filled with the Holy Ghost. Well, Pastor, there ain't nobody riding mules much anymore. There might be a Kawasaki mule. I don't know. I'll be at F-150. But God, there could be a shaking in, it, in this land again. There could be a quakening in our hearts and our souls. Are you hungry for it? Is that your desire? If that's your desire, I believe we can see it. Listen, there's people all around us if they don't see a shaking in the church and a shaking in us, they're going to see these shakings in Revelation. I don't want my family to see that. I don't want my friends, my co-workers, I don't want the people sitting under the sound of my voice to see that. I want them to see when that ground shakes and that little graveyard out there bursts open. Great God. Well, I'd be right in the middle of it, wouldn't you? Be caught up with them to meet the Lord in the air. Well, we got to be ready. Are we ready today? Stand with me all over the house. Heavenly Father, I've 
ask you this week to send a shakening. God, let the earth quake under our feet in Murphy. God, move us, Father God, to where you want us in your order. God, move me, Father, to the place, God, that you want this pastor to be. God, move every member of this church to the place that you want them to be. God, there's a harvest of souls, Father God, ready. The fields are wide under the harvest. God, get these laborers ready. Shake us, God. Shake the very foundation of our soul. Put a hunger and a thirst, God, like we've never had before. And God, let us be fruitful for the kingdom of God. You're here this morning. And you say, Pastor, more than anything, I want to be fruitful for the kingdom of God. Lift your hand to the Lord right now. More than anything, I want to be fruitful for the kingdom of God. May I tell you right now, if you're not bearing fruit, you need a shaking it. If you're not bearing fruit, you need to be shook up right now. You need God to get a hold of your heart. You need God to get a hold of your soul. You need to stir like you've never had before. I believe God can grant it today. I believe there could be a physical manifestation of His Spirit upon you today. I believe God can let you know, my child, I'm getting you ready. I'm getting you ready for the harvest. If that's your desire, I want all that will to come and stand with me along the front of this altar. I want you to lift your hands toward heaven. And I want you to begin to call out upon His name. I want you to ask Him right now, God, will you move in my life? God, will you stir my soul? God, will you give me fruits, God? God, will you let the wind of Pentecost blow again? Lord, will you fan the flame, Father God, within me? God, let there be a shaking in this house, God. Lord, this house of clay which I live in, God, shake the Lord, conquering God to the very depths of His core, God. Lord, my comfort zone. God, give me to that place that you can use me. Father God, this morning you are the potter and I am the clay. God, put me on that wheel, God. Mold me and make me, God, into the fashion of the servants you want me to be, God. Lord, bless my heart. Fill me, Father God, with your spirit today. And God, will give you the glory. Heavenly Father, right now, God, let there be a shaking in God and Sister Brenda. God, a fresh and filling God of the Spirit and the power of the Holy Ghost, God. Heavenly Father, right now, God, you see Sister Kathy. God, touch Sister Steve right now. God, bless her soul, Father God. Stir in a naked, Father God, that's within her, God. And Lord, we'll praise you and glorify you. Heavenly Father, God, Lord, you see Sister Morrow. God, you 